Dave Bartosi at Kazakhs.com joins us now for our Stacking Up. Hello to you. How you doing? You are looking ahead to Friday when Wells Fargo reveals earnings. So what do you see happening here, Dave? Well, Wells Fargo has definitely been in the news lately, and it hasn't been good news. Uh, pretty scandalous what's going on at Wells Fargo in terms of people opening up fake accounts, fake accounts credit cards, fake savings and checking accounts, and then they had whistleblowers that were trying to tell HR, and then it turns out HR was ignoring the whistleblowers, uh -oh. and now the whistleblowers are suing, and then they're on Capitol Hill. I mean, it's just a huge, huge thing going on at Wells Fargo. And they have earnings coming up this week on Friday. So what I think I'm going to look at is, I'm looking at what's their guidance going to be over the course of the next quarter, knowing that the Fed hasn't hiked yet and they may hike in December but that's still going to be out for another quarter for them so they're not going to get that net interest margin plus we don't know what the fallout is going to be as a result of these new lawsuits and the investigation on Capitol Hill so I don't know if you can tell but I'm getting a little bit bearish on shares of Wells Fargo it's going in that direction it is it is so I think what I'm going to do here with Wells Fargo though is I want to basically take the optimism that people might have so anybody that's buying call spreads on Wells Fargo I'm gonna go ahead and sell into that. So what I'm looking at here is if I go out to October 21st, which will be after earnings, I can sell the 45 of 46 call spread. It was trading around 40 cents. So I, if I can take that 40 cents and put it in my pocket, have 60 cents at risk, and all I need is Wells Fargo to unwind a little bit after this earnings report. So for somebody who is holding this stock, you can't really tell them exactly what to do because this situation is very fluid. But what's your trader instinct here? Um, my instinct initially is you're going to have some downside risk here for Wells Fargo. But when the rate hikes start to come, that's when the banks are going to benefit across the board. We saw last week when uh, we saw the pound take a tumble, gold take a tumble, and rumors of a Fed rate hike being pretty much a certainty in December. All of a sudden, you saw the financials perform very well while the miners and everybody kind of you know, fell apart. Uh, so what I'm thinking is that financials will definitely benefit from a rate hike here. So if you're in it for the long haul, you're still going to collect a dividend. You're still going to be okay. It's just kind of in the short term, I like uh, this trade that's presenting itself to me. Thank you so much for your insights, Dave. Have a good trading day. Oh, thanks. I hope so.